I'm Amy from the Brantford Public Library with this week's STEAM Challenge. Spring is here and with it, sunshine and warm breezes. It's the perfect weather to get outside and fly a kite. So today, we're going to make our own kite. For this challenge, we'll need to do some planning. First, we'll need to decide what type of kite we'll make. Kites come in a variety of shapes, colors, and designs. Some are square, some are round, some even look like dragons. How would you like your kite to look? Next, we'll need to find some material to build our kite. We'll need something light enough that it can be lifted up by the wind, but strong enough that it won't rip. Look around the house for material that you can use. Maybe some light cardboard or paper or even a plastic bag. For my kite, I'm going to use a piece of colored paper. I'll fold it in half like this. And then fold the edges back like this. Flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. When you open it up, you have the classic diamond shape. Now I'll want to add some tape to hold the fold together. Next, we'll need to add some structure to the kite. Kites need an area for the wind to push against to lift them into the air. That's what makes them fly. If the kite folds up, there won't be enough surface area to hold it up in the air. We'll need to find something strong enough so the kite won't fold up, but light enough to let it fly. I'm going to use this wooden skewer. Now I can finish decorating my kite. I'm going to add these paper streamers to the back of my kite to make a tail. Lastly, we'll need to attach some string to control our kite. So I'm going to punch a hole in the front near the skewer and tie some string there. And we're all set. Let's get inside and fly a kite. Thanks for watching. For more fun activities you can do at home, visit the home-based activities page on our website at brantfordlibrary.ca. And to make sure you never miss a video, click subscribe. Thank you.